Hey guys, it is Roman for two here today. I'm gonna show you how to rig guns and animate them to use the COD4 animation rig. And some things you're gonna need is first off Maya 8.5. Um, pretty much where we're gonna be working in the pretty much the entire tutorial. Uh, you will need the COD4 rigs, which you can grab from the Call of Duty4 mod tools. And um, I just have mine since I copied over to stuff from my laptop. So it would be in Call of Duty4, Modern Warfare, uh, Bin, Maya, and then you'll see these four folders. And then Animation, Source, View Model, M16. And you're going to need these two files right here. And then you're gonna need a gun to rig and animate. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Scar H, I think it is, from Mar for two. It might be Scar L. Um, and the way to get some of these guns, I'm gonna show you real quick. Um, a pretty good tool to use is the Lime from Tom BMX, which you can download from his website, which I'll show you, uh, which I'll leave in the description actually. And uh, you'll just go ahead and load up your game. And then go ahead and open up Lime. <coughs> oh, there's a new version already. Wow. All right. So what you do is, if you just want gun models and the few models that may have random, what you do is you go ahead and list models, load models, and you have it doesn't matter where you are because at the main menu, all of the guns are already loaded, and you just click on export all. And once you do that, you can just close your game. And if you go to exported, if you scroll down to where the view models are, you'll be able to take the ones you want to use. So let's go ahead and grab the SCAR H. And I'll go ahead and copy this folder over to my world at war directory. Model export and paste. And then we can go ahead and we're actually going to need to keep that open to grab the images. Normally the images for these guns are going to be uh, with their name in it. <coughs> so looking up Scarish, we got the foregrip and the color map, so that's good. So I'm just going to make a folder called it images and paste it into there. So now we can go ahead and open up this file within Maya. And if we look, we do have, we actually have all of the attachments here on the gun. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be doing the gun alone, not with any attachments. <coughs> so, first thing we want to do, since we're going to be using the COD4 animation, we're going to delete that joints. And now we can go through and start deleting what we do and do not need. Or actually what we do need. Don't. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Whatever we don't need. It's early in the morning right now. <laughs> so we're just looking through. It's best to do this on wireframe view, which is the four key on your keyboard. And then, just in case you don't know how to get this window open, it's this little option right here. It looks like information on the 3D grid. And then to delete, you just hit delete. But that's not something you want to delete. Alright, so right here, this is one of the red dot site lenses. So we can delete that. Uh, it's a suppressor. Normally, you can tell what it is just by looking at the shape of it. That's four grid. Oops, don't want to delete iron sights. Okay, and now we should have all the pieces. Let's go ahead and throw on its texture. So to do that, we're going to go up to the top window, rendering, rendering editors. Hypershade, and then we're gonna look for the one that has M92 material weapon um, Scar H, I think it would be right here. And I'm gonna hit Control A, 
and we're going to hit this little tab next to color and we're going to go ahead and open up the image of the scar age that we had grabbed from line oops Images and then right here it tells you which one it is. And if you look here, you'll notice that some parts of the gun are invisible. So to fix that, just open back up Hypershade, select the material by left clicking, hold right click, and drag it down to Graph Network and let go of it. And then when right here you should see two arrows. Hold left click, drag, so then it makes it yellow, and hit delete. And now if we minimize it and look back, it should work. I'm not sure why it's not. Hmm. Oh, we'll resolve it later, I guess. Anyways, so now that we've got this set up, we'll go ahead and import the VM gun. MB for the M16. So just go ahead and direct it to it by going to your uh, Call of Duty uh, rigs or the Maya animation source view model M16, and then make sure you have best guess on, and then M16 VM gun. So now for the fun part, you're gonna go ahead and move the scar if you're doing the scar along with me. You're going to try to move it into a spot where it looks like it's going to match up with the M16. I think right there will do pretty well. One of the main things you may want to consider as you're doing this is try to line it up so that where the player is going to be holding the gun in this area is pretty much on par with the um, gun, the M16. The actual sights doesn't matter because we can edit that easily and the clip is also something else you want to take into consideration. And once you think you have it, just go ahead and delete this M16. So then all we have are just the joints. And then select tag flash and you want to move that to where it's in front of the end of the gun because this is where our muzzle flashes will play and now for the clip you kind of move it towards the center of the of the scar H uh, clip and we don't need reflex, ACOG, iron sights Whoops. and go ahead and uh, leave it there so I think that's all we're going to need so now we go ahead and rig the gun so first you're going to select tag clip and we're going to find what mesh is R for the clip. So it's one. It's just one. Okay. Select the clip. And then right here you want to go animation. And then look for skin. Bind skin and hit the square next to smooth bind. And make sure bind to says selected joints. And go ahead and apply it and you can close it and it should make your gun purple and then now you want to go ahead and let's do the iron sights if your gun doesn't have iron sights on it then you could delete the iron sight tag so then you go skin, bind skin and since we already did the square and do smooth bind and now let's go and see that was five that was one so we can select everything else and click on J gun and it's smooth bind. And now our Scar H is fully rigged. And to make sure it is rigged, you select the J gun from the list. And if you move it <coughs> using the move tool right here, it will um, move the entire gun. So now that we have that, we're going to do file save scene as uh, Call of Duty War model export. And go down to our view model. Uh, scar H and we're gonna save it as 
scar h and then you want to do dot vm gun you have to have vm gun in here because it's going to be important for when we start to mess in the animation right you can name this part whatever you want but the vm gun has to have the dot and then that and that's all we're going to need so I'll go ahead and stop this part here and the next part we'll go ahead and start the actual um, animation rig.